Hi guys, happy Saturday. And it's like one in the morning, so if I look tired, I'm not a pill popper like I've been accused of. If I look tired, it's because it's one in the morning. Just got home and wanted to make this video now because it's been burning at me for a couple of days. So ever since I made my last video. So let's talk about Ryan. I am being fucking railroaded about Ryan and my views on Ryan. And so now I'm going to elaborate a little and explain to you why I don't believe it's Ryan. Take a step back, and we all know Zellner is not a dummy. She does not have all of her exonerations because she has no clue what she's doing. We all know this to be true. She's an extremely intelligent attorney with a track record to back it up. So where does that leave us? Do you really honestly think, and I've been called so many names for my last video, do you honestly fucking think that Kathleen Zellner, who has, what, 18 exonerations and God knows how many other cases that she's gotten people off, is going to just throw a name out there? No problem. Hey, guess what? Ryan's the killer. The media is the one that twisted that to make him the killer. She never named him as the killer. I don't know why everybody automatically assumes, oh yeah, Ryan's the killer. She never said that. What she did, however, say that he should have been listed as a suspect and gave all the reasons why. That is all she said. Now, being that's all she said, also, which I'm going to go through at a later time, obviously I'm not going to do it at 1 o'clock in the morning, but all of the people that did the background checks and all of her experts, a lot of them also name Ryan as being a suspect. I could be totally wrong. I still think that Ryan is a decoy for the real killer. And here's why. She only pasted, posted a certain amount of pages. The first 212 were everything that every sleuth has found in the case, every single one of them. It was like she was rambling about everything we ever said. Then she stopped posting. Okay, so then we come to find out the next 250 pages have to do with her experts. And again, her experts did write a bunch of stuff about Ryan. Again, granted, we get that. Now, take a look at the third half that I, as far as I know, nobody has and nobody has seen. I think that's where the real killer lies. There is no way that someone as reputable as Zillner, who has so many exonerations under her and track record to back it up, that she's going to throw Ryan out there. Here you go, Ryan's the killer. But if you just, instead of bashing like I got in my last video, seriously take a step back and think about it. If she names Ryan and she's wrong, he could sue her for libel. So she's not going to name him. If she is right about it and she names him, guess what? Ryan could kill himself. He could disappear. If she really believes he's the killer, she doesn't want him to disappear because if he does, guess what? She can't prove it. I totally understand that she doesn't need to prove that Ryan did it to get Steven out. But if he disappears or something happens, the odds of him being able to, the odds of her being able to get Steven out like that are going to dramatically reduce. If she puts a killer in the place, guess what? it'll be that much easier to get Steven out. So her just pointing fingers at Ryan, all she's doing is saying, hey, he should have been listed as a suspect, which honestly, he should have been. That's a given. So everybody is on my case about Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. If you really sit back and think about it, she fed into everybody thinking it's Ryan. There is no way in hell that I, among a lot of other people, are going to sit back and believe that Ryan's the killer, and she just threw it out there for the whole world to see. That would be the dumbest non-strategical um, move that an attorney can make. I don't believe she did it. There's no way in hell she did it. All she did was plant a seed that he should have been looked at. So before everyone comments about what a fucking moron I am and how embarrassing it is, if you knew the law and you really understood how the law works, you would know that if, she, if Ryan really was the killer or she totally knew Ryan was the killer, she's not going to just throw it out there for the whole world to read. That would be the dumbest move ever. 
So that is why I believe that Ryan is not the killer. Again, I firmly believe that Ryan is a decoy for somebody else or a diversion, any way you want to put it, for somebody else that we don't know about. Because if the real killer believes that everyone thinks it's Ryan, well, they think they're off scot-free, so nothing's going to happen. That, my friends, is logic. And I'm sorry that so many people don't have it. They want to rush to a judge decision that, oh, it's Ryan, it's Ryan, it's Ryan. No. Strategically, there's no way in fucking hell it could be Ryan. Now, with that said, could I be wrong? Of course I could be wrong. I could be completely way off, and it could be Ryan. I'm not saying I'm not. But I'm just telling you, strategically thinking, put yourself in Zellner's shoes. Strategically, there's no fucking way in hell she's going to just throw Ryan out there. It's a strategic move by an extremely intelligent attorney. If you don't see that, well, I'm sorry. But that is the way I see it, and that is the truth. So, with that said, because it is so late, I am going to shut this video now. I just want, it was burning at me, and I wanted to get that off my chest. So I hope you guys have a great night. Make sure you subscribe. When I To Gary, when I say leave comments, I have no problem if people disagree with me. What I have a problem with is the bashing. If you don't like me, don't like me. I don't care. I am putting myself out there because I have something to say. And most of you enjoy what I have to say, and some of you don't. And that's totally cool. You could just move on. So that's all I have. Make sure you hit like, make sure you comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. And like I said, I'm going to go through each and every um, uh, professional's opinion and go through everything. I read some of it. I haven't read all of it because, like I said, I'm on vacation for a month, so it's not like I'm home and I have all the time that I want to do it. I'm also not just an admin anymore of my group, which is uncensored. I'm also was added on to admin making a murderer down the rabbit hole. Or the rabbit hole, make it a murderer, Stephen Avery case. We're actually changing the name so it'll be easier to find. So, Bobby Castillo, big shout out to you. Thank you for adding me as an admin. And I hope you guys have a great night. Peace out.